Hey, well, my brothers and sisters, I hope you have an amazing day today in Jesus' name. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Ward Dominici. I'm trying to build and raise the army for the kingdom of God. And as I want you, and if you want to join, then hit that subscribe button as we as we go go closer to Jesus together. So, anyway, also want to say thank you for 100 subs, and excuse my excuse my attire also. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of hot, hot in the house, so y'all gonna make some I'm some mom, but but hey, whatever, gonna make this video. So. The video, what this video is going to be about is my motto, don't be religious, follow Christ. And I'm going to give away my, the meaning. And this meaning is, will be inspired, be inspired by the Holy Spirit. And I told him that don't let my words come out, but let your words come out. And the thing, what I mean is by don't be religious, but follow Christ. I mean, don't be for the 12 denominations. Like, don't follow man -made relig these man-made religions. Like, if you look at the 12 denominations today, all, all you can see, yes, is there's some gospel in, in these man-made religions, but the the, 12, the, the, the the problem with the 12 denominations is like there's different beliefs to it. Different different beliefs to it. And one of the things, and I know, I get it, we all fall short of the glory of God. But at the end of the day, scripture is the final authority. The word of God is the final authority. And the thing, and the, and the problem is that religion makes makes the gospel complicated than it needs to be because god made it so simple all we have to do is live by the word live by the word of god that's all that's that's all god wants for us all he wants is to have faith in him to love him and obey him that's what he wanted not for you to add add stuff to the bible add add stuff to you to beliefs add your beliefs to the bible N no God did not call us to do that. God has called the church to be united. God has called the church be, be to have a spirit of unity because the only way the Holy Spirit could work through the, work through the people of the church and 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 go through go to the church and dwell in in the, in the church is if and to prevent grief grieving the, of the Holy Spirit. Is by having a spirit of unity, be united with one another. Despite, despite what 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 this guy did, what that girl did, whatever. Have a spirit of unity. That's one of the things that God has called each and every one of us to do: is to love our neighbor and treat them with respect, and do unto them that do unto them that that would, that would do unto us. Like meaning, treat you, love thy neighbor and treat them with respect. That's one of the things that God calls it too. And also to love God with all your heart, all your soul. And the next thing is don't be a Pharisee. Don't be don't be don't act so high and mighty. Don't act like like you're you're the know it all. And I'm not I'm on I I'll admit, I'm I'm actually guilty of this. There's times, there's times I do get I do get prideful. I'll admit, I'll admit that. I'll, I'll admit that's that's on that's on me. And there's times I really do get get in my own way. So I'm not only speaking to speaking to y'all here, but I'm speaking to myself here when I say don't be a Pharisee because I know some some of us most most of us are very guilty of very Pharisee traits. And we all and we as babies need to repent for that. But yeah, yeah, we fall short, but no matter what, God's always here to pick us up. And the next next thing is that don't don't act don't be don't say that you're a Christian, but 
you're living a simple lifestyle. And you see, this is why I don't like this term Christian, because first of all, it has a religion, a religious like tone to it, like turn to it, and also people are misusing it. Anyway, I decided to go to the kitchen because my birds could be noisy sometimes, but anyway. But back to the video. Don't be a Christian if you're not willing willing to make sac the sacrifice needed to follow Jesus. If you're not willing to give up your simple lifestyle just so you have a better relationship with God. Don't be a don't be a fake Christian. Don't be a fake believer. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that don't don't be don't be telling others that you're a believer and that you say you believe in Jesus, that you place your faith and trust in Jesus, yet you are willfully choosing to live a sinful lifestyle. Don't be don't be that don't be that kind of Christian. Cause yeah, it's drastic now consequences to your life and also having that it's also affecting others as well. Because because in in their head they're like, so this is how Christians Christians are today. And there's not even there's not even an actual believer that's living according to the word of God. And And yeah, again, we all fall short, but the thing about about a Christian who has a simple who don't be a, don't be a Christian who lives a simple lifestyle is that don't don't have a heart full of sin and don't and you say you is that don't be a Christian who has a heart of heart who has heart his heart toward God who is living living for, living a life of pride a lust a greed a power a glory or whatever whatever sin you struggle with don't be that kind of Christian it's And now, to the good part, follow Christ. And what I mean by follow Christ is that comes is by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ and turning away from your sins and run into his arms and embrace him. And by that you receive the, his Holy Spirit and with and with the help of the Holy Spirit, you're able to live. You're able to live the life that God has called you to live. I'm not saying that you're gonna be perfect. You are gonna fall short. But you have the strength you need to to live the life that God has called you to live. And what I mean by follow Jesus is have a personal relationship with Jesus, because having a personal relationship with Jesus is key, key to a successful Christian believe success, successful Christian life that is as a key and what I mean by follow Christ is living righteously for God living for for him and him alone and not to live for the world because one of the things that God has called us to be is to be set apart that's what following Jesus is following Jesus is Deny yourself, picking up your cross, denying the desires of the flesh, denying the pleasure of this world, and still pick up your cross and bear the burden that Jesus burdened, bear it, and continue to follow Jesus. And I'm not saying that following Jesus is easy. Living for God is not easy. In fact, it's challenging. You're gonna deal with spiritual warfare. You're gonna deal with disappointments. You're gonna deal with suffering. You're gonna deal with probably losing some some friends and family. But in the end, Jesus is the one that sticks by his side. He is the friend that always sticks close to their brother, and you can trust that he'll always be with you. That he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews chapter thirteen verse five. That's. What I mean when I say when I say follow Jesus and comp and all of it combined don't be religious follow Christ meaning don't follow the man made don't follow the man made religion 
don't fall into all denominations. Don't don't be a, be an external Christian looking for external validation, but instead follow Jesus and develop and grow in in your relationship with Him, and walk in the Spirit and fulfill not the desires of the flesh, and walk in the faith and obedience to to God. That's what I mean when I say don't be religious and follow Jesus. And if there's any one of you who doesn't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I invite y'all today just that you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and that He loves you, that He died a brutal death for you so that you will not have to suffer eternal punishment and live a life void of purpose and fulfillment. <laughs> but so you can have a life of fulfillment and purpose here on earth and have meaning in life and all like that, what's better is that you'll have eternal life in heaven. And having a personal relationship with Jesus is one of the greatest things that could ever happen to you. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But that's all. Do pray this video helps you and helps you in any way, shape, or form. I do pray this video helps believers truly, truly be inspired to grow their relationship with God instead of following man-made religion. And I look forward to the plans that God has for this channel. And if, if this ain't it, then it is what it is. But if God wants me to continue doing, doing his work on here, then I'll be glad to do it. Because I want to help y'all grow Christ while I grow in my relationship with them. You know, I said that I can, in my community post, but hey, I, I'm, I'm saying it again. All right, that's all. Don't be religious. Follow Christ. Follow Christ. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen.